Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. And something that I try to do every day now, I don't know, I've been on a kick on it, I guess like this year, like 2018, it wasn't necessarily like a New Year's resolution where I'm constantly trying to notice things that I have and be grateful for them. Mm -hmm. So like the other day, it's like, this is super random. Like I was, it was the morning and I was getting up and I was getting dressed to go to the gym and I was in my bedroom and my boyfriend was still in bed mm-hmm. and he had a cup of coffee. We were just chatting and I just had this moment where I'm like, how fucking lucky am I that I have a man that I love in a house that I love and I have a bedroom that I like and I have money to go to the gym. I have legs that can run on the treadmill. Yeah. Like Sometimes like just stupid things like that when I'm running on the treadmill and I like want to die and I want to get off and I'm like, I fucking hate this shit. Mm-hmm. I'll be like... You should be so grateful that you have two legs that you can run on a treadmill and you can mm-hmm. get fucking tired. Yeah. You know, so I think that when you start to see life that way, mm-hmm. it really changes your perspective. Because yeah. I think gratitude is one of the most important things that we can have. Yes. And I think it's something that a lot of people don't have. We're always mm-hmm. looking at we're always looking at what we don't have and what we rather than what we do have. Yes. And the mainstream media sells us that all the time. They're like, you mm-hmm. need this yeah. in order to be beautiful, or you need to wear this in order for people to like you or you know, it's just mm-hmm. like we're constantly being sold this idea that like what we have is not enough and we need more and more and more. Yeah. You know, with that consumerism constantly pushing us. And um a lot of us what we have is enough. Yeah. It's like more than enough. Mm-hmm. And um and I remember being younger and thinking like I re- I remember distinctly in high school, I had a old Dodge Ram pickup. And, um, I mean, it was cool, but it was like not that cool. Mm-hmm. And there was this girl in my high school, she was one of like the richer kids. And it's so funny that at the time I thought this was so cool because it's even not even that nice of a car, but she had a Ford Expedition. <laughs> and I just thought, I literally remember thinking to myself, if I had a Ford Expedition, my life would be perfect. Mm-hmm. Everything would be good if I just had a Ford Expedition. If I had a black Ford Expedition, mm-hmm. I would be happy. Yeah. And I got a black Ford Expedition. And yeah. guess what? It you didn't are. make me happy. Yeah, because materialistic things will never make you happy. No, they won't. Mm-hmm. But it, it doesn't mean I won't still like try to like buy yeah. shit, you know what I mean? For sure, yeah. And I think that's what a lot of media tells you. It's like, oh, you can find happiness if you have this shade of lipstick. Mm-hmm. Or you can find happiness if you have this outfit. Or you go to this restaurant. And mm-hmm. These things, they try to sell you all these things. But um, I don't know if you've ever done psychedelics before. Oh, but <laughs> yeah. It really, when really, I was 15, I did acid like every weekend over the summer. <laughs> I really think that that's... Um, you're very lucky, you know, in that sense, because I've done psychedelics in my life and they really, really changed my view and opinion on life. And I remember I did mushrooms a lot when I was in college. And I remember waking up the next day and going outside and just looking up at the trees and going, oh my God, I cannot believe I'm alive right now. Like, I can't believe that I am this person. I'm healthy. I'm strong. I have this great life. I didn't have uh, like ten dollars in my bank account at this point. I'm like mm-hmm. broke college kid. I'm, like it's so beautiful outside, mm-hmm. and I can go walk to the farmers market, and the trees are blooming, and it's just gorgeous. And like this is the life that we have been gifted, mm-hmm. you know. And now I even wake up like it's been kind of cold in LA, and I walked to the store this morning because I wanted to get a tea. And we're walking outside and just standing there because the sun was hitting my face. I'm like, oh, I'm so lucky to live in the place that I live right now and just feeling the warmth on my skin mm-hmm. just being like not a lot of people even stop and realize that you yeah. know like what the air smells like mm-hmm. and what the trees look like or little you know little kids and their dogs running around and playing and mm-hmm. like all the joy that's surrounding you they mm-hmm. always look on the negative it's like really take time live slower and appreciate every single moment of your day because then maybe you'll be two hours in traffic you're like oh this really really sucks but you can remember your morning and how wonderful it was or even going home 
and being able to just sit and lay on the couch with my man and Mm -hmm. turning on Netflix and like eating a meal and just being cuddled up. I'm like, I'm so lucky that I get to come home to someone who loves me and that I love and being able to make a wonderful meal and just sit on a couch and watch TV. Like I have that luxury, Mm -hmm. you know? So a lot of times we'll be like, oh, I want more in my life. I want more in my life. I'm like, how lucky are we? to live the life that we live. And each stage that I've been alive, you know, being a broke college kid to now, which my life is extremely different now, I felt very blessed the entire time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think, yeah, really noticing, you know, your surroundings and being appreciative. Yeah. Yeah, it's very life-changing. I feel like psychedelics really helped me in that way. Yeah, that's interesting. I I mean, I definitely had, like, very profound moments of realization when I was Mm -hmm. using psychedelics. Mm -hmm. Um, But I don't know if it changed my view overall. Mm -hmm. Maybe it did, and I just didn't know it, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, But uh, it's actually interesting because for me, like, it was actually more because, you know, I was like, I mean, a lot of people know this, but I was an alcoholic for years and I Mm -hmm. had like a serious drinking problem. Uh And then um, I first got sober 10 years, 11 years ago. And um, it was actually in sobriety that I found that appreciation and that gratitude for life. Because before mm-hmm. I was, you know, I was not dealing with my issues and yeah. I was bearing everything with, you know, alcohol. Mm-hmm. And um, I was I was never, like, in the moment. I was never there. Mm-hmm. Like, I always felt removed from my life. Mm-hmm. And so when I finally got sober and started to feel better and started to, like, feel myself again and, I don't know, just be present in life, like, mm-hmm. that's when I started to, like, see all of these things and where the gratitude really took yeah. effect for me. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Girl. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I, uh, I can relate. Um, I used to be a very, very heavy drinker as well. And uh, the thing that changed my life is I got evicted from my house. I lived in a park. And uh, Zach, I remember, got a little job wow. washing dishes when we were in Eugene. And uh, we managed to get a storage unit because I was able, like, if you signed up, you get, like, three months for free or uh-huh. something. And then you started to have to pay for it. And so I would, I had my old beat up Kia that was barely running. Sometimes it would shut down and I had my cat, my old cat with me too. And so we packed up whatever we could in like the trunk of the car and put everything else in this tiny little storage unit. And I would drive and sit at the park until someone would be like, oh, you can't be here or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I remember like waking up and just like looking into the park. I'm like, what am I doing? You know, like it's so beautiful summertime. I'm Mm -hmm. like, this is the most beautiful park I've ever seen. And, you know, I am so young. I'm, like, wasting my life, you know. Mm-hmm. And that really, like, changed everything. You're just, just like, in that moment. In that moment, just wow. waking up. And I remember, like, I should feel really sad. And I felt nothing but happiness where I was just, like, I couldn't afford to drink anymore, you know, because mm-hmm. I was literally living out of my car. And just feeling just wow, I'm so lucky to just be alive. And after that, it was just like I went from nothing to holding a job for a really long time, waiting tables, webcamming, building up my life to this, what I have now, which is completely different. But sometimes I don't even know. I'm like, am I even happier? I'm very happy now, Mm -hmm. but am I happier now that I'm in this situation or has my happiness just came from the people who surrounded me and what I was doing with my life? Mm -hmm. Because I always feel more happy when I just get to wake up and me and Zach get to make breakfast mm-hmm. and then go sit in the sunshine and things mm-hmm. like that, just like the real life things. Mm-hmm. So that's like something you really have to think about is, oh, well, is being more successful going to make you happy? Yeah. Or what level of success is going to make you happy? Or is it just happiness really just sounds really cheesy, but it comes from within. Yeah. Loving yourself and loving the people who surround you and just really creating that unit um, of love, I guess. Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Their Lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. If you get it in the Perfect Package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. 
And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.